Well, good morning. Hey, someone asked me to talk a little bit about uh, uh, storing water underground for the purpose of heating a greenhouse. Now, when you try to do that, you, you uh, encounter some unique problems right away. And I want to talk a little bit about those here tonight, today. Now, the first thing you've got to do is pick the right kind of tank. There are basically two types of tanks. There is the kind that are meant to be buried underground. They're designed that way. And then there's some that are not meant to be buried underground. So you don't want to use those. Now, it's kind of easy to spot the ones that are designed to be buried underground. They're mostly designed for septic tank uses and things like that. But what they'll look like is uh, basically this picture right here. And uh, you can see by looking at the picture that there's ribbing around the, uh, the tank uh, to give it more support and structure to be able to withstand being uh, covered with soil because the soil pushes against the uh, tank and it'll tend to try to crush it. So they have to build it with a little more strength and rigidity. Now, the wrong kind of tank to use is one of these straight wall tanks that looks something like this. Now, as you can see, they're just straight walls up and down. And they're, they're good tanks, but you can't really bury them underground. So the number one thing you got to do is make sure that you choose the right kind of tank. And wherever you buy your tank, the, the dealer that is selling it to you, they'll know which tank you know, is designed to be buried under the ground and which tank is not. So make sure you get the right kind of tank. Now, you decide you want to do that, you want to uh, uh, bury some tanks underground to heat uh, your greenhouse during the winter. Okay, now let's talk about some of the problems, the unique problems that you're going to see if you try to do that. So you dig this hole to bury your tank in. Then you shovel in the dirt to cover it up. And we'll assume that you have all of your plumbing lines connected and that you have hot water in the tank. Now let's assume that your water is about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Now remember, the ground temperature uh, when you bury the tank is about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere in there. Now what's going to happen is your hot water tank will cool off. The heat in the tank will travel into the surrounding cooler soil and the tank will cool off as it warms the cooler surrounding soil. Now the ground will continue to absorb heat as long as the water temperature in the tank is above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep in mind also that the ground immediately around the tank will warm and the heat loss will slow, but it won't stop. So you can see, if you're going to try to bury a tank of hot water under the ground for the purpose of storing that heat, it's a losing battle because you're going to lose heat to the surrounding soil, and then the surrounding soil will continue to lose the heat that you've transferred it, and it just never stops. And some people think, well, it's an earth battery, you know, you heat up the ground, and then you can retrieve the heat later. Well, no, you really can't. It'll stay there for a while, but it won't stay there for very long because the dirt itself will continually lose heat to the surrounding soil that surrounds it. And there's just an un endless supply of dirt, you know, around the uh, soil. So, so you can't really store heat that way. Not for more than, not for a very long time. Now, some people say, well, what about just insulating the tank. Well, yeah, you could do that, and it'll help. But what you're going to get into there is some serious excavation and construction work. And to my mind, it is much, much simpler just to pour a concrete pad, get a couple of tanks, uh, plastic water tanks. They're fairly small. They're fairly easy to get. You know, and you can put 2,000 gallons easily in a small-looking shed that very inobtrusive in your yard and uh, you can insulate it quite easily and quite well on the inside and you can insulate the tanks too where you can minimize the heat loss from those tanks very very effectively okay now don't get me wrong what I'm uh, 
trying to say is if you want to store water underground in a tank, it's not a completely foolish idea. Depends on what you're trying to do with that water. Now, if you're trying to store hot water so that you can run some kind of a heater, a heat exchanger in your greenhouse, where you know you need water that's at least 100 degrees Fahrenheit stored away, yeah, that's a losing battle. You're just not gonna, it's not gonna work because you will lose heat pretty fast. And if you insulate it, you've got the construction and all that stuff to deal with, it's much easier to do that above ground in a little shed. But if you just want to store water underground so that it doesn't freeze you know, in a tank, yeah, that's a great idea because no matter how cold it gets outside, you know, as long as you live in somewhere a little further south or a little further away from the poles, north to south pole, it, no matter where you live practically, uh, it's not going to freeze. The water temperature, if you bury a tank, will stay somewhere between 40 and 50 degrees or something like that. So it's a great place to store water if you just want to store water that's not going to freeze. But it's not a great place to store hot water. Now there are some applications where you can use the ground, the natural heat of the ground, and like I'm talking about 40 or 50 degrees, to do something that's kind of like heating your greenhouse. And we'll talk about that a little bit later.